Da, vi da nama i slijedite to gledamo nama against Jernoir, against Jernoir, against 13-4-1, 5-1, 73 inches of reach, fighting out of Netherlands, this guy lost to William Gomez via very close majority decision, and he was better than Alisher Abdullayev. His UFC debut was pretty much controversial, and the guy's got skills, he's both good on the ground on the feet, he's changing angles nicely, and da vi da nama lost to Nate Landwehr via... Majority decision, he choked out Garrett Armfield, was better than Gabriel Benitez, knocked him out cold, lost to Mason Jones. The guys riding a score of 2-2, but both of these guys are extremely tough, and David Onama wants to knock you out via one punch, but against Jarno Irons, that's simply not going to be the case, as the truth is, this guy has uh, never been uh, knocked out in his career, he was only losing via decisions, and he is very, very durable fighter. He can... Uh, he can fight very well, and he's pretty much a guy who can take a beating. His submission, de- uh, his submission defense is kind of questionable, but I'm going to say fight starts round three for this. I believe this is going to be a long war, as Onama is very skillful. We'll see a lot of angle changes. We'll see a lot of step drags forward, step drags backward. If I must pick a side, lean in Onama, but I'm going to say fight starts round three.